we do nothing else, I want to beat this first level. That's my goal. Yeah, I've already seen that. Okay, I already know where all the clues are. I found them last time. Hit the street. So let's hit first and H first. First, wait, first and H is straight up, so. Actually, I think we'll hit the fourths first. B and D. Fourth and B. Ah, oh, fuck it. Alright. Let's do this. Why don't you fall over? There we go. Ah, crap. I don't think there's anything up here. Why am I going up here? Can you go in rooms? No. Aha! I got him. <laughs> Alright. Got the shoes. Now is fourth and D. Fuck it. No, I thought it was there. There you go. I don't think I can just park my car in the middle of an intersection. Funny, I actually think these uh, side scrolling sections are pretty cool. The only really bad part of the game is the overheads. The game doesn't really need them. This is one of those times when less might be more where you could replace the overhead sections with like a menu where you're sorting out the clues and following them to where the, you're supposed to be. I have like menus saying, okay, do you want to go here? Do you want to go here? So a player can just pick where they want to go instead of having to deal with those snipers. The game might be strictly improved if it had that. That's just my opinion, though. Okay, and they should not do stuff like this. <laughs> there we go. There's like a sense of strategy to these levels I appreciate. Like you can't quite run and gun, but it's not totally crap either. I also don't know why the door is a window. <laughs> Alright. There's two clues down. First and H and ninth and F. Tommy gun. Oh, 
Fourth and F, right? Ninth and F. Yeah, that's right. Alright, keep an eye out. Shit. Oh, I passed him. Ah, I need the police station. The police stations really should refill your health. That would improve the game immensely, just right there. If you're gonna have these overhead sections, let's you fill your health at police stations. That's what the game absolutely critically needs. And so you could weigh, okay, I'm closer to the stage, but I'm really low on health. Should I take the risk and time to go back and... I'm a really- is this really gonna happen? I've gone through this level so many times. How am I screwing it up this bad? There's, there's health at the end of the stage. If I can get there without getting hit once, then I'll be fine. Super simple jump. I can do it. Uh, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna beat the first level of Dick Tracy! <laughs> Alright, where's the... The eighth and J, that's right. That's where what's his face is. Numbers. Really? Can I just skip that? If I just go to Eighth and J, will it? I think I have to do this. Interrogate. I just take crazy the fourth and D. All right. It's numbers. Eighth and J. Yes. Have to get there. 
That's literally at the far corner of the map, isn't it? Oh. Do this. Ha! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, we're okay. Not okay if I get hit by every single bullet in the place. Ha! Huh. Jumping bullets like a real detective. Graphics are very King's Quest. It's something about the way the faces and stuff are rendered. Well, rendered. If you can count the pixel <laughs> pixels going on here as rendering. Okay. Okay. We're fine. don't want ninth and F to be my last stop because that sends me all the way back to the far corner. Even though it's literally right next to the final place, which is a pain in the ass. So if I go to fourth and D last, that might be better. Okay. So I think I'll actually go to ninth and F first. Because it sends me back, I can hit the others on the way to the final stop. I think they only fire once. What it seems like. Oh. 
Oh, forgot about him. Pick up here. I'm fine. I mean, I got the clue, so I guess it doesn't matter. Interrogate. Yeah. Okay. So I think what I'll do, because there's two healing things in See the Champs flop, ha flop House, fifth and B. So I might go there and get the healing med kits. take out a random car on the road. Does someone get mad at me for that? There's Fifth and B. Alright, there we go. Desperately need it. Holy crap, I didn't realize I was completely out of health. <laughs> I don't even need to talk to him. I really don't. I just need the med kits. So I'm fucked. I'm good. Food. I am also food. I'm food as well as good. I'm totally food. Let's see. I did knife an F. I get the D's and the H. Or the fourths and the H. So, fourth and B. Which should be right over here, actually. No, I'm. Is that right? No, that's totally wrong. Oh, there it is. in D? Yes. Careful. 
I have a good amount of life, including the med kits. So I can't see a reason I shouldn't beat it. I don't think I've ever beaten a level in Dick Tracy. No one ever has in the history of ever. Not without cheating. It has never happened. This is gonna be a world first, folks. <laughs> Proving that I am the master of video games. Now, I see a lot of people comment about the fact that yeah, it takes so much weird work to use the first aid. I think the idea is that if it was just a single button press to use it, you would accidentally use it if you just flip to it with a... while you're trying to switch between fist and gun. Because flipping between fist and gun is sort of the main, one of the main thrusts of the game. You have to do it and learn to do it effectively. Because you're constantly slipping between fist and gun, to, depending on who the enemy is, so... If you're not looking at your inventory and you forget you have a first aid, you accidentally use it while you have full health, and then you're pissed off at the game because it lets you do that. I'm pretty sure that would have happened to me a lot of times if I... if there was actually a single button press use of it. I think that was the idea. Come on. <laughs> it's not that bad, get it. Rock, get it. There we go. I'm not sure what's going on with that. clues? No, I think there's one more. Um, first and H. I don't think I've been there yet. So I went to ninth and F first, so first and H. Kit until I get into a. <laughs> you can't use your med kit in the overworld! <laughs> ah! <sighs> Why can't you use your med kit in the overworld? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh. I stand by my statement that this game would actually be kind of awesome if it was just the side-scrolling portions. Like, it simply doesn't need these over... Of course, I got shot. Overworld portions. Like, maybe people will then turn to bitching about how it's so many menus and stuff, and you should be wandering around the city or whatever, but... Sometimes less is more. That's actually true. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jeez, die. It's like freaking ducking. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Go get the goddamn health kit. If you fall in the water, does it activate the chase scene? I don't actually know. There might be a way to save some health, actually, so you're not worrying about the running into the car or the snipers. Oh, someone hit me at the last second. Okay. I'm going to the flop house. Fifth and B. Get those, uh, med kits. Ugh. Fourth and B, so fifth and B should just be... Right up here. I think? That's right, right? Because letters are horizontal, numbers are vertical. No? No, I'm completely wrong. I'm... <laughs> I've been playing this so long, I'm forgetting how it works. I've only been playing for 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes is an eternity in Dick Tracy time. <laughs> ah. Gotcha. Park right in the intersection. There we go. Perfect. Okay, go in. I would get him. God damn it. Man, this game's grueling. It really does demand perfection. It's all the strategy and careful planning. Ugh. Of course, that's why they call it NES Hard. That's one of the funny things. This so many games with so many flaws that are like super beloved. Like, yeah, the difficulty's part of the charm. What are you gonna. You can't yell at Castlevania for stiff jumping controls or into Gaiden for cheap responding enemies, because that's part of the challenge. It's Nintendo hard, man. Then you look at other games like this that are super hard. Again, because of those same kinds of flaws, like enemies popping out of the screen and getting cheap hits. And yet it's like, yeah, those other games are great, but screw this game. Okay, I have to stop. That's how you actually go into the place. I'm not saying this game is up there with Ninja Gaiden or anything, but... It's absolutely... Crapped on more than it deserves. Of course, I tend to be kinder to games from back then that were ambitious and tried to do a bit more than the usual. Like creating an open 
basically an open world on an NES game it was super freaking ambitious. It was basically L.A. Noir 8-bit, <laughs> if you think about it. Going around finding clues to decipher who the bad guy is, and you have to go arrest the bad guy. That's freaking L.A. Noir. That was ambitious to try to pull off on the NES. I'm not saying it worked, but I applaud the attempt. Mother. gotten extra medkits. Next I will do 4th and B, 4th and D. have its own friggin' health kit. I swear there were three. Maybe that's the fourth and ninth I'm thinking of. Wait, I only have one. I haven't used two. Because I should've gotten two in the flop house and one in the... Oh, did I miss one in the flop house? I might have. Oh, too late now. I think one of my least favorite of those double standard things is probably like The Legend of Zelda. Because NES is full of cryptic puzzle bullcrap like that. Like, Zelda was like the king of it. You know? Zelda just has those moments where it's like, okay, there's no hints, there's no clues, you just have to know to bomb this wall that looks like every other wall in the game. But people kind of accept it just because Zelda's a classic. But they don't stop and think, okay, that's exactly the same thing that something like Mylon's Secret Castle was doing. Like, same goddamn thing. Same problem, and yet people overlook it for Zelda because it's Zelda. And yet they'll turn around and crap on other games for doing the exact same thing Zelda did. I think part of it isn't really, like... like intentional double standard, it's just that everyone knows how to beat Zelda by now. Like, Zelda doesn't seem cryptic if you already know the secrets, you know? Like, yeah, Zelda, there's some hidden stuff in it, but... I already know how to do it, so it doesn't affect me. You know, I've never really looked up how to beat Zelda, I've never beaten Zelda, the first one. For me, it's just like, this feels just like playing one of those super cryptic NES games, like My Own Secret Castle. I can wander for hours and make zero progress, because everything's hidden. And there's no clues or hints. 
hit the street? Is it because I can't use it on the street? Boom. Alright. The one that's left is first in H. Yeah. Numbers are this way, so. Mother! Oh, saw you! I'd be faster than that. something. Maybe there'll be like a med kit or a... What the heck? Probably use for a later level. It was worth a shot. Tommy gun. What I think I need to remember is that typically if I just keep walking, the people, the people with guns above me won't hit me. They'll just fire over my head. I keep trying to like go slow and hang back instead of letting my momentum carry me past them. That's a real problem I'm having, I think. Or at least the biggest problem. of sprinting past gunmen just feels so counterintuitive. Alright. Now it is time to go after Steve the Tramp. Not Steve the Tramp, numbers. Eighth and Jack. I know that. come from? I don't see anybody. Okay, first and J. Oh, cul de sac. Aha! Dodged! Basically, if you slam select when you see a sniper, you'll probably be fine. Okay, seventh, eighth. Right here. Final area. Let's do it. <sighs> Don't get hit by the same guy over and over. Don't get hit by every bullet. Oh my god. What the heck was that? That was like a physics misfire. Okay, be a little careful. I'm pretty sure it was down here. And I'm out of health kits. Yeah, that was the whole entire beginning part was just stupid. I don't know why I did that. I'm like, just getting excited. Like, okay, I'm there. I'm there. Holy crap, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No. You don't need to go into dog, excited dog mode, just chill out. 
See what she's been doing the entire time. <laughs> I think he's the one who got me last time. <laughs> okay, chill. Oh, fuck. so long Beginning sprint just screwed me over. I got excited like a puppy. I gotta do it. I'm gonna do it. Go, 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 go. No, you can't do that. Ugh. No, never do that. Oh, frick. Alright, hit the street. Ah. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> the other one gets me. <laughs> like, aha, I tricked you. Nope. Punch is borderline useless. Like, it can accidentally come in handy. If an enemy just happens to balance into a bunch of other enemies. But otherwise, it does the same thing regular punch does. It just takes that enemy in one shot. Because I have noticed that the enemy you punch can bounce around like a Koopa shell and kill a bunch of other enemies. Free shots. Interrogate. Okay, I need to go to the flop house. Fifth and B, I know that. Snipers respawn. They don't seem to be. It 
could absolutely be wrong. First day is not punch. <laughs> Oops. Alright, I don't need to interrogate him. I know what I'm doing. Now, fourth and B and fourth and D. Carry two first aid kits? Because I know I've picked up three and not used one. Because there's one at the pier and then two in the flop house. That's why I keep going there. Make it to the next place without getting shot. Alright, fourth and D. I think to, you hit pause or something and then you hit select. Maybe that should be how you do health kits. Yeah, because the way they did it does not work at all. It does not work in the game's favor. It gets in the way when you're trying to play. It's hard to figure out. It's counterintuitive. need to go to first and H. Yep. out of the car. First 
an I, first an H. One thing I do like is that there's no touch damage. You don't get damage for touching an enemy. You only get damage if they punch you. That's something more NES games could have learned from. Alright, now we're going to the last place. It's Ape and J. Double check. Mug shots. That's not what I needed. No pad. Yep, got them all. Okay. Hit the streets. That's ninth, very much. Where's eighth and J? Oh. This is J, right? No, oh, he must have passed J somewhere. F. Yeah, I just went the wrong way. Yeah, the snipers didn't come back. So you take them out once and they stay gone. That's actually very interesting and unique for an NES game. Like, that doesn't happen on the NES. Alright, I know there's a cluster of gunmen here. Down one, yeah. Right, I can still take one more hit. Maybe I should go ahead and use it. You know what? I'm going to. This is the last area. I'm using it. I really should keep my gun out. <laughs> the gunmen are the ones I have to react to quickly. The fist guys take forever to get to me. It's probably a way more intelligent strategy. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you go down here. I've only been through here like five times today. Again, I appreciate that the enemies are color-coded. Makes it nice and simple to tell who you can shoot and who you can't.
I'm also had a reloaded bullet to the police station. Yes! What exactly is he supposed to do to me? <laughs> he can't even hit me from up there! Is that numbers? Did I do it? Let's see if there's any bonuses over here. No, fuck it. I'm gonna get him. Arrest. Okay, Tracy. You got me. I did it. Great job. Only you could have figured that one out, Tracy. And so ends the career of another one of Big Boy's thugs. Combination to the next case. Yeah! <laughs> Did it! Yes! Oh. Yeah! I beat the first level of Dick Tracy. <laughs> I'm on to your hoods, big boy. Your days are numbered. Oh shit! Yeah, Tracy. Like me, for instance. Man, I pushed the button thinking it wouldn't go forward until I did. Torch song tale. Nightclub torched. Owner says lips manless did it. All right. Nightclub torched. Second level. Yeah. <laughs> of course, now we have no idea. Who the hell is the- Oh, it's a completely different selection of characters. Oh, I didn't know it would do that. Interesting. I didn't know Dick Tracy had so many villains. Of course, I don't really know anything about Dick Tracy, to be honest. Okay. For now, I have finally been successful. I'll probably do level 2 sometime. Because I do enjoy this game. I like the moment to moment gameplay. It's hard as hell. You really have to buckle down and, you know, focus, concentrate. That is doable. You can do it, apparently. Yeah! I'll do it again later. Later. <laughs>